That what we were seeing before with Jennifer is like you have to match. If somebody's really nasty to you, you can't just go in and be nice. It's like this whole, this whole bitch show. Thing. It's like people want to get busted. Like I've had this experience a lot online or with women where I will call them. Like you seem incredibly nasty, and I really don't appreciate being talked to in that way. And we'll go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And this happens almost at every approach camp. And there's some point where it breaks. And often, I would say at least 50% of the time, the woman will say, wow, that was really hot, or that was really invigorating, or it was like orgasmic, or whoa, I need a cigarette now. <laughs> so it's like, like that phone sex thing, we yeah. were living together. But like, I can distinctly remember this woman on the street when I was in Florida, just all out, just like a fucking war. I'm like, you're, you know, I went up and said, you know, your outfit doesn't make any fucking sense. This, a woman like you, you're obviously blonde because this doesn't match at all, and you look incredibly drunk, and you actually look pretty dumb to me. She's like, fuck you, you think you're, you go up to strangers on the street, and you just tell them all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, because you're a fucking bitch. And we went back and forth and back and forth, and she was screaming, and she was screaming, screaming, screaming. And then at a certain point, what I did to change direction, which, I, which is usually my tool, is I will be the first one to soften. I'll say, okay, I'll give you this. You're really hot. I wasn't sure else to approach you. Then instantly she will melt. <laughs> and she will say, and I'll say, haven't you ever been in a situation where you've been intimidated by somebody? She's like, yeah. And instantly we're making out. <laughs> but instantly the next thing is tongue and mouth on the street. And that's, that's sort of been a repeating theme for me. Your not, whole life, basically. <laughs> I mean, you know, not always to that extent of instantaneous, but the reason we want to keep it in there is that, we said this earlier, I think this is the major point is, a boring guy, there's nothing relatable about him. The jump between being boring and having sex is like a million miles away. Because there's no energy to this passionless discussion about the news or the weather. What do you think of this, or the sports teams, or do you do roids? But intensity, <laughs> intensity is sexual. You think about it as like high vibrations in the body, the adrenaline rush, the pump, as Arnold would say. When I'm doing the pump, it's, I'm coming. I'm do Let's talk about some ways. So I, let me keep going with that. So in that sense, I, that's why I want intensity. In some way, I think some of you guys are really good at getting women to laugh. That's an intensity. That's an intense experience. Like, God, this is really fun. You're really having, we're having a great time. You know, and you're a fun guy. You know, a demonstration of several fun experiences means you're a fun guy, not just a fun or funny little joke. You're like, well, that's a funny joke. Six or seven funny things, you're a funny guy. I'm a passionate guy, which comes across but not just because of one thing I say. It's the way I be, the way I sit, the way I go in for the kill. I don't know much about like ultimate fighting, but like this guy, Hoist Gracie, the way he's fighting, he's on top of the guy. He will not get off the guy. You know, and like there's something about that analogy for me is with this anger thing. I'm not gonna let it go. I'm not going to get off this fucking point. I'm not going to soften. I'm going to push into this until you tap out, essentially, or until you change, or until you apologize, or until you get really fucking angry and storm out. I'm going for something. And if they don't really change it really instantly on the spot to go somewhere else, I will do that. I'll say, this is too much. You're scaring me. I'll make a joke. Like you saw with, with Mariah. Great. Let's talk about something serious then. You, fuck, great. you tell me what you want to talk about. I'll talk about anything. And I'll run circles around you about any fucking topic. You give me any music, anything. Great, we'll change it up. I mean, she was getting upset. Like, what do you mean? Are we acting? What's happening now? Is this real? Is this not? That was, that was funny. <laughs> when she, she just, you just so, lost you know, her. And the way we did that is just to push, I want to push into the uncomfortability. And again, this is one tool. How many tools is this? One, one tool. tool. This isn't the only tool to pick up women. But this is a tool that is essentially one of our skills. This is one of my secrets. This isn't something that's in the seduction community. This is, how I, this is like a personality thing. 